Hello friends, my name is Gautam and you are watching Geeky Gautam. So in this series of tutorials, I will be teaching you guys about how to make your own login system using PHP and MySQL. So basically, the technologies that we will be using is these four, that is HTML, CSS, PHP and MySQL. So basically two softwares will be required. First of all, the exam software. So exam is used for converting your computer into a web server. So this is exam. I have down downloaded exam control panel. So I will be guiding you in the next tutorial how to download this. And uh, also this notepad plus plus code editor. So in this notepad plus plus we will write our code. So basically these two softwares will be needed in order to make this lo login uh, system project. And the features of this project will be the first of all the email very activation will be there by email address basically the user will be writing his or her email in the register form and we will be sending the email to his email for email activation second feature will be remember me functionality by using cookies uh, this functionality ensures that uh, user doesn't doesn't need to enter his uh, username and password again and again so the entries will be auto filled the third functionality will be forgot password by email so if the user has forgotten has forgotten her password so we will email the password by email the fourth functionality is the change for password so the user can change his password anytime so the fifth is the user can also delete his account so these are the five functionalities that i have added in this project and all the source code of the project is there in the description i have given the link and you can download it and follow along with the tutorial so the sole motto of this tutorial is to give you a brief demonstration of the project so i have uh, made the project so let me open the directory localhost user login slash index.php so as you can see here this is a sign up form i can fill out entries so let me fill out entries Gotham. let me choose a username of Gotham also and here i want to write a valid email address because i will be uh, we will be sending an email to this uh, email address so let me enter a valid email of my that is sharma gotham 1997 dov at the rate of gmail.com so this is a valid email address so let me choose a password of let's suppose one two three four five six and click on sign up so as i click on sign up button so it will be uh, stating that we have uh, you can see here please check your email to activate your account so let me open my email this email let me go to gmail so as you can see here account confirmation message so this message has prompted us so let me open this message and Thanks for signing up. Your account has been created. You can log in with the following credentials after you have activated your account by pressing the URL below. So we have, as we have entered one two three four five six in the password field. So after clicking this URL, we can log in. So let me click the URL. So as you can see here, your account has been activated. You can now log in. So just click on the sign in button and just log in. Gotham and just type the password 123456 and click on the sign in button so as you can see here we have successfully logged in that is profile details are shown below gotham username gotham and this email we can also change password at any time so let me change the password to 123456789 and also in the confirm password 123456789 and click on change password so you can see here your password has been changed successfully so let me log out and just sign in with the new password 12345678 click on sign in button you can see here we can successfully just log in so let me show you the remember me functionality so let us suppose I want to remember my password as you have seen in many websites. So let me click this checkbox. So after clicking this check checkbox, I have saved my password and username in the form of cookies. So the website will remember me. So let me sign in 
and again log out and close this window so again open this window localhost slash user login slash index.php and let me sign in so as you can see here the entries are auto filled i did not did not have to write them again and again by me so this is the remember me functionality and another functionality is forgot password so if you forgotten your password you can click this link forgot password and provide a email address valid email address by which we can uh, email you the password so sharma gautam 1987 dob at the rate of gmail.com and click on submit so it will be prompting me that the password has been sent to this email you can see here we have sent password to your email so let me open my email at you so you can see here new password for your account that is this is the new password for you log in with that and change it anytime sharma gautam 1997 dop at the rate of gmail.com 992378 so this is a random password that is generated by the script so you can copy this and click here to log in into your account so this will prompt me to this login dot php page so just replace this password with the above password and click on sign in you can see here you can sign in successfully and change the password at any time that is let me change it to 12345678 and change password so your password has been changed successfully so let me show you the database for this so this is the whole database that is user login and user stable so you can see here id is there name is there email is there activation code which we have used in the email activation script username is there password is stored in hashes for security purpose and active is used for again email activation so active is equal to 1 if the user has successfully activated his account or else is zero so you can see here and lastly we have a functionality of uh, deleting our account so let me first of all login in and click this simple delete account your account has been deleted successfully you can see let me refresh this you can see here the entry is gone so we have successfully deleted our account so this is the entire pr procedure this is the entire project we will build from scratch and i will explain you each and everything in detail so Thank you very much for watching this demo tutorial so I will be seeing you in the next tutorial in in which I will tell you about different configuration settings or installing this exam software and notepad++ code editor so until then thank you very much friends I will see you in the next tutorial